Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you requirement of filters in rectifier. See, rectifier job is to convert AC signal into DC signal. So input signal to rectifier will be AC signal. Rectifier will be generating DC signal out of AC signal. So we have seen rectifiers functioning in my last few videos in which with rectifier input will be AC signal and after rectifier output will be DC signal but if you observe this DC signal then that is not pure DC that is pulsating DC right so here as if you talk about half wave rectifier then see half wave rectifier that converts half signal into DC and for another half cycle there is zero signal and for full wave rectifier complete AC signal that we are converting into DC but this is not pure DC that is pulsating DC our job is to have pure DC signal so pure DC signal that one can have with the use of filters only right if you talk about half wave rectifier average DC output then that average DC output that will be that will be Vm by pi see this is maximum voltage that is Vm and average DC that will be somewhat like this right average dc that will be somewhat like this and that average value that will be vm by pi in case of half wave rectifier and as if you talk about full wave rectifier then here we have vm right that is maximum peak voltage and average dc that will be 2 vm by pi for full wave right so here v average that will be 2 vm by pi that is double of this right but still see this signal that is pulsating dc there is a ripple in this right so always there is high frequency component that presents in half wave and full wave rectifier output so to get pure dc all we need to do is we need to use filters there are a few parameters let me discuss about all those things like if you talk about ripple frequency of half wave that is f see here input to rectifier that is ac and this ac is having time period let us say that is t right then with what frequency pulsating dc is coming you see with half wave with half wave pulsating dc that comes with this time period which is the same time period of input so frequency of ripple with half wave is f which is a same frequency which is there with input signal but as if you talk about full wave rectifier then it is having ripple frequency that is 2f now if you observe here ripple is getting repeated with this time period right with this time period right so that is half of the period which is there with ac signal you see with ac signal time period is this much here that time period that is getting half means here frequency is getting doubled so ripple frequency with half wave that is f and ripple frequency of full wave that is 2f that is double of input frequency right see here ripple factor of half wave rectifier that is 1.21 and with full wave rectifier that is 0.482 that even I have derived in my earlier videos of rectifier in the lecture series of basic electronics. Right. See, if you want to calculate ripple factor, then let me show you that calculation. See, ripple factor, ripple factor that we calculate as per square root of V RMS by V average or V DC square minus 1. If you talk about if you talk about half wave rectifier then v average that is vm by pi and if you talk about rms value then that is vm by 2 right so if you substitute v rms is equals to vm by 2 and vdc is equals to vm by pi in that case you will be getting ripple factor that is equals to 1.21 for half wave and with full wave rectifier it is 0.482 with full wave rectifier v rms that is vm by root 2 and vdc that is 2 vm by pi if you substitute it over here 
you will be getting ripple factor that is 0.482 right so based on ripple factor what you can understand see ripple factor with half wave that is way high in terms of percentage you can say that is 121 percentage with full wave also it is very high it is 48.2 percentage 48.2 percentage right so that is even quite high so ripple factor is always there with the output of rectifier even if it is half wave or full wave and we don't want ripple over here ripple means variation of signal see it is not constant dc what you need to have is you need to have constant dc job of rectifier is to give you dc signal from ac input here we have rippled dc output and that one can understand based on ripple factor right so ripple frequency that is f with half wave, half wave rectifier it is 2f with full wave rectifier ripple factor is 1.21 with half wave and it is 0.482 with full wave and we need to have pure dc to have pure dc all we need to do is we need to use filters right see without filters output of rectifier will be having two components ac and dc so here output is having two different components ac component and dc component right our job is to have only dc component so to get pure dc signal from pulsating dc filters are required in rectifier circuit so what we'll be doing is we'll be connecting filters across this load so without filters you will be having output that is this but if you connect filter then you can have pure dc output now what are the components that is there with filter so when we talk about components of filter then you can use inductors and capacitors as a filter see as if you connect capacitor if you connect capacitor then capacitor that we connect in parallel in parallel with rl so you will have to connect capacitor in parallel with rl for filter right for filter and if you want to connect inductor as a filter so inductor should be connected in series with rl so if you connect inductor in series with rl you will be having filter operation right that is how one can use inductor and capacitor as a filter let me show you that by one example like as if you have capacitor as a filter then here see you will be connecting capacitor like this in parallel with rl right and as if you want to connect inductor as a filter then all you need to do is you need to connect inductor in series with rl that is how one can have filter right so this is how we will be using filters and i'll derive parameters based on filters in next coming videos see there are different types of filters which is available with rectifier one can have capacitor filter in which you just need to connect capacitor in parallel inductor can be also used as a filter in which you will have to connect inductor in series with rl there can be pi filter as well right so likewise there are varieties of filters available i'll show you each and every filter along with calculation in next coming videos i hope you have understood this video still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video